Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Since it is Christmas Eve, in this video, I'm going to be explaining the fandom's version of Backrooms Level 58. This is just a extremely chill, liminal, and relaxing level. So if you like that kind of stuff, sit back and relax. And let's get into the explanation, shall we? So Backrooms Level 58 is classified as a Class 1E difficulty and is safe, secure, and has a few tiny hazards that I'll get into. The level as a whole looks like a really modern house from real life, and it's split up into several different spots. All of it is liminal and uncanny. It just feels too good and too pristine to be real. The actual building on the level is pretty small, and it's split into three areas. The first front open area, the middle house area, and the back open area. There are a couple more, we'll get into them later. The first open area is the front of the house itself. There's a white front door that you can go through to get to the inside. There's also a white garage door that you can barely see since it blends in with the house. And there are two green trees sticking out of the white flooring. It's pretty simple here. You can just walk in or stay out there. The middle area is the house part, and this is where you can relax and be outside of the sun. You don't want to be out there for too long, and we'll get into why in a few minutes. But for now, we'll talk about the inside. You actually spawn in the level in the inside of the building when you get here so the middle area is where you'll be and this middle area has three parts to it room one room two and the central room now the central room is a perfectly clean white sleek modern looking place it's got white furniture and tables and chairs and it's enclosed by walls on the left and the right but the front and the back are glass so you can see right out there's nothing too weird about this central room except the couch's fabric can't get wet. Like, it's completely hydrophobic. If you drop water on it, it just won't get wet. It'll slide off. The next part of the central area is room one, and this is the second smallest part of the level, and it's connected to the central part by a little tiny hallway. This room one is a regular looking room with black furniture. It also has a couple of bookshelves and desks with supplies on them. And interestingly enough, the desk here has a globe on the side table, and it's a globe of real life continent shapes, but there's no names or labels or anything. It's just empty, strange. The last part of the central area is room two. And room two is right next to this other room, room one, but room two is pretty much a bedroom. And this bedroom has a white bed and a white bookshelf. Very non-cluttered, very simple, very liminal. And the bookshelf only has one book on it, and it's a copy of Owning Liminal Space, which is a real life book too. The book itself is pretty strange, and it's probably the first weird part of the level, because if you take the book away from the shelf and just lay it down, it'll teleport back to the bookshelf. Other than that, room two and room one are pretty normal. The next part of the level is the back area, or the open area, or the backyard. And this is where the pool is. There's a few strange things here as well that I'll get into right now. The first thing is that the sunlight is not good because the longer you're exposed to it the lower a person's sanity will become and you'll start to hallucinate and that kind of stuff it does only happen after long exposure but you don't want to be outside and go insane so make sure you stay in the shade as much as possible the second weird thing out here is that the pool is filled up with almond water which itself isn't weird but whatever you do do not get into the pool because the water is ridiculously hot and it could burn you if you just even touch it the pool looks like it's only a few feet deep from the outside but it actually goes down forever and it's like the really only dangerous spot on the level since it's so hot but if you don't actually touch it it's still chill to look at now there is a scenario where you can get in the pool and can touch it, and that happens if you see all the water randomly disappear, and there's just nothing there except an empty void. After that happens, after you see it happen at least, it'll slowly fill up from the bottom, and then the water will be a normal temperature. Just for a while though, because it's going to end up getting hotter again, so make sure you get out the second it starts to feel hot, so you don't get burned. So there is actually another part of the level that I kind of hinted at earlier, and it's beyond the walls of the level that you see. This area is called the outside. Creative name, I know. 
but the outside is just a seemingly infinite field with trees spotted in it, which just adds another liminal and uncanny vibe to it. I mean, why is this perfect house in the middle of a field? Strange. The sunlight effect that makes you lose your sanity doesn't actually happen out here, which is pretty cool, but I still would rather stay inside the cool house than out here. Now, you might think that's it for the level, but it's not. In the spirit of Christmas, this level gives us a gift of a secret sub-level, except it's a dangerous gift, so it would suck, but oh well. So yeah, there's a secret third area beyond the house, beyond the outside grassy field. This one's actually underground, and it's called the Underground, and it's classified as a class 3 difficulty. This spot looks like a huge open hallway with rooms on both sides. The entire thing is infested with faceling entities, and it's pretty dangerous down here for a couple of reasons. One is that the light is actually shining down here somehow, even though it's underground. Like the sunlight is still shining and it still makes that sanity effect happen to you. So if you stand in it, you'll go crazy soon enough. But not just crazy, because if you get exposed to the sunlight down here, it can actually turn you into a faceling yourself. So you can get turned into an entity by being in the sun. That's not cool. It's not listed how you get to this underground area, but just don't go there. I mean, just stay in the chill, normal part. That's all I gotta tell you. To enter this level, you can break a TV on level 57, and to exit, you can no-clip into the pool to be sent to level 37.1, or you can try to rip and tear the book from earlier to be sent to level 59. Nice. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your Christmas Eve is going amazingly. I'm very thankful for all you do for me. You guys are amazing. Make sure to check below if you're interested in the Brooklyn merch. It's a top link. If you want to go to the back rooms and get all the stuff you ever want, check the merch out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But if you do want cool merch, link's there. I love it. Turned out well. Hope you liked it too. Thank you for all you do for me. I will see you tomorrow for Christmas Day and the end of Brugmas. But for now, peace and love and Merry Christmas Eve.